And news is coming in. A French diplomat has said that the European Union last month uh, had made it very clear that it wanted to work with India to ensure transparent financing in the Indo-Pacific region. The European Union has noted that China is using its financial heft to fund a large number of projects in the region and expects to announce its own transparent and green financing initiative in which India will play a pivotal uh, part. Now, what we understand is that uh, China, of course, has been opposing uh, this. Uh, this comes in the wake of uh, concerns that are rising globally of China's influence and debt trap uh, that is being seen in various parts of the world, which, of course, includes uh, certain regions in Asia as well as Africa. Crispino is joining us live from uh, the newsroom for more on this. Crispino, good morning. Give us more details of what you're learning. Rupert, what we're looking here is a move to counter China in the Indo-Pacific region, according to what we're learning right now, as per a French diplomat. Uh, we're, you know, France, after assuming presidency of the European Union uh, last month, wants India to play a bigger role in this initiative in financing projects in the Indo-Pacific region. Now, this comes at a time uh, when uh, we're looking at uh, the stability of uh, the Indo-Pacific region and how China is using its fund uh, to influence and, you know, to finance projects because we have seen also how uh, even in the case of Sri Lanka is also part of uh, that, uh, you know, 10% of its debt fund. Now, looking at India, we're looking at a meeting of the Indo-Pacific Forum on the 22nd of uh, February when uh, we were looking at, uh, you know, India being asked to join this initiative of financing in the Indo-Pacific. Uh, now being uh, worked upon, let me also bring in Major General S.P. Sinha, who's uh, joining me on the phone line. Major General Sinha, good morning. Thank you for joining us on Republic. Uh, Major General Sinha, how do you see this uh, realigning of world powers, essentially, whether it's Europe, America, uh, you know, uh, or India? There is a considerable realignment uh, vis-a-vis China. You see, when we were saying that China is a very big threat to world peace, uh, European Union and Western countries thought that China is the enemy of India, and they did not take India's statement very seriously. Now they are realizing that if they don't uh, coordinate, combine the all forces, all the strength of West, Western countries and India, uh, th uh, things are going to be very difficult from Chinese side. That is the, that is one. Secondly, this... Uh, this statement by French uh, uh, dignitary shows the rising power of India in the community of nations at international level. This shows that the world is ready to accept India's leadership. Thirdly, uh, the Western countries want financial involvement of India in uh, uh, forming a platform against China. You see, China always has been using money power, be it Sri Lanka, be it Nepal, be it Bangladesh, it always used money power to gain influence politically and geostrategically in every other country. So similar as in Indo-Pacific. Indo-Pacific is on radar of China and China wants to keep increasing its influence in Indo-Pacific. But that is going to be very, very uh, big threat to the world navigation rights. And uh, it, is, it is going to be against the spirit of UNCLOS, United Nations Convention of Law of Seas. So I think time now has come that China needs to be challenged. Otherwise, China believes in bulldozing its way. Mm. China has not forgotten its old grand strategy, which was enunciated by Mao Zedong, which talked of Zonghua, which is a Chinese word. And Zonghua means that China should be world, world's power number one. And that is, that there's no, has been, no, that there's, there has been no change in that strategy. So Absolutely. China believes in Zonghua. China believes in expansionist policy. So this Indo-Pacific is part of expansionist policy and the best way to gain influence in any territory is to use money power. That is what mm. China is doing. So time now has come that China should be hit economically. China trade should be hit. If we want to uh, weaken China, then Western countries, European Union, India and like-minded friends should combine and hit China economically Absolutely. if we want and, to contain. Absolutely, Major and Sina, we're already seeing that realignment. Thank you very much for joining us.